This week, the Redmond City Council took up the expansion of the police department and the airport. Tracy Tuesday updates the projects. Redmond's new police department will be on North Canal Boulevard. Tuesday night at the city council meeting, the chief expressed excitement about the design for the lobby. It's going to be very open and welcoming, uh, enough room to serve multiple people at the same time. Also going to be designed in a way to give auditory and visual privacy for people that may be coming in to make a report. If they need to have a private room or a private area, we're going to have those built right off the lobby. Off the lobby, the chief says, will be the emergency operations center and a training room, which will also be used as a community room. In addition, the building will have a larger holding facility and there will be more interview rooms. We went out for a geo bond. A uh, $40 million geo bond and it passed and so we're very grateful and thankful to the citizens of Redmond for passing that. And the remaining funding has come through ARPA funds, um, a state grant, and also $100,000 out of the city's general fund. The public safety facility expansion is expected to break ground next February. The council also heard from Redmond Airport Director Zachary Bass. Really what the customers are going to see is the opportunity for more airlines, uh, more counter positions, uh, but really there's going to be a full second floor concourse. Bass explained the new concourse will include more than 70 jet bridges so passengers can board in any weather and not have to be out in it. The space will also offer more amenities. They're going to see more options for concessions, food, retail, and so uh, we're really going to give them a, a, a bigger and better experience than they're they're seeing right now, especially during those busy times. Bass added, parking is also a consideration in the expansion. So once we get this terminal expansion built, we're going to look to expand parking. And so that might mean more off-site. That might mean some shuttles. But what that means is another opportunity for maybe cheaper parking for individuals to take if they want to take advantage of it. Some behind-the-scenes construction is set to begin next summer. But Bass says it could be 2025 before passengers notice changes at the airport. You might see some walls up like you do in other airports during construction. Um, and, and this full project right now estimated for the first phase is about $145 million. Redmond Mayor Ed Fitch says another improvement was approved Tuesday by the City Council. Well, the project that um, I've pushed for and I'm so excited about is the East Side Alternative. That's a $30 million project uh, that will take uh, veterans and move it through the old Juniper Golf Course and connect in with 9th Street. It'll provide a great alternative to Highway 97 for the whole east side of Redmond. Mayor Fitch also says that all of these projects are essential to the growth of Redmond. Tracy Tuesday, News Channel 21.